feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. But it's a- hey, everybody. Welcome to the post-show wrap-up of the shrimp tank. We had an amazing podcast today. Of course, you have to go to shrimptankpodcast.com and check it out. Got my co-host, Lee Heisman, here, and myself, Ted Jank, along with our guest today, Corey Atkinson, who's the owner of the Elemental Spirits Co., a boutique bottle shop that you have to see in the Ponzi Highlands area. I say that because when I say Ponzi Highlands, you know you just have to go down just to see the Ponzi Highlands all together. As always, you can hear a replay of all of the amazing 250-plus CEOs and owners that we've interviewed here in the city of Atlanta and the state of Georgia at shrimptankpodcast.com, or you can download us at Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or anywhere around the internet if you are serious about starting, growing, and running a successful business. So, Corey, on the show today, you provided a lot of guidance and input, what it's like to open a business two weeks before everything gets shut down. I think you opened just about two weeks before March, yep. and you've had to pivot and obviously grow this organization and your shop. So tell our listeners a little bit about how it's like opening a shop up in the middle of the pandemic, and then how you guys specifically operate. So if people want to come visit you, they know that they can do it online or come in person. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's been fun. Um, it's been, every day has been challenging uh, in terms of opening a shop right in the middle of, of COVID. Um, but it has kept us on our toes and luckily being a new business we've been able to pivot really quickly and not have our old processes in place that we have to change so it's um, that's been something that's been really helpful for us being a new business and you guys can check us out at elementalspirits.co uh, follow us on instagram elementalspirits.co as well um, and go on facebook um, and yeah sign up for our newsletter you know Corey, i'm always fascinated by businesses that have to manage lots of inventory and i'm wondering if you could tell people who are thinking about getting into a business whether it's a wine and spirits business or it's a clothing business. How do you manage all the SKUs in the business and manage the inventory when you have some people that like Pinot Noirs and some people that might want a small batch whiskey? I mean, how, how do you just manage all the inventory and brands and keep that intelligence in front of customers? Yeah, the assortment planning is the first key piece of that and really coming up with a, a theme of what your assortment's going to look like. That was really helpful for us is to really decide Um, you know, what umbrella did we want everything to sort of fit underneath? And then from an actual SKU management standpoint, um, really it comes down to picking a great POS system and and an inventory management system that's going to be able to to manage all of those different SKUs that makes it easy for you to run reports and understand what's happening with your inventory. So, you know, Ted, that's a great question about how he operates a business, but nothing happens without the magic of your team and your staff. And you said you have five full-time employees. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you hire new people, when COVID hits, how the heck do you keep people around? How are you maintaining culture when it's kind of this hybrid model? Tell us a little about your staff and how you built that team. Sure. Yeah, my staff is the, the crux of who we are as Elemental Spirits Co. Their knowledge is what creates the experience for, for our customers. Um, and so it was really important for me at the very beginning to make sure that obviously their safety is our first priority, which is why we chose to close down, even though um, liquor stores were essential businesses and could stay open and let people inside. We decided to close down to really protect the staff. Um, And then ultimately, you know, right now, I know that this is a temporary issue. And so we wanted to make sure that the staff was covered from a a monetary standpoint, and then that we could keep them on as long as possible, because again, they're the most important for us, uh, you know, to keep the business running. You mentioned also how people get in touch with you at the website, but also the location. How else would people come into the shop? Yeah, so we're, we're located right at the corner of North Highland and North Avenue, which is um, adjacent to Manuel's Tavern, if you guys know where that is. Um, So right there in the same building. um, And yeah, come down and see us. Pappy Van Winkle, worth it for a collector or not? Uh, that's a that's a not um, really yeah it's it's a great whiskey but the hype is real and the uh, the amount of money that you'd have to spend to get it these days is Jeff definitely not worth it there All are better right. better bourbons that uh, that are much more affordable well Lee we were gonna do a, a St. Pappy's Day not a St. Patty's Day a St. Pappy's Day somewhere down the road so maybe we'll do that but uh, thanks so much for joining us today yeah, thanks for having tell me. everyone again where they can hear more about your company um, elementalspirits.co Yep, go check us out online. So you have to check it out and think about this with your business too, just like the one we talked about with Corey today. Your business can either be a fine wine, and Lee's going to like this, or it can be two buck chuck. (laughs) You have to decide what you want your business to be. The difference is a good business owner will ultimately go out and research the soil, which is the R&D you have to do in order to be able to make sure your business is successful. Then you have to plant the seeds for those grapes the right way, and that's really getting the employees on the bus, the people who are really gonna drive the bus every day, not you the owner, and then you've gotta manage that business because 
just like the coronavirus today, things are going to happen, changes in the weather, changes to the soil. And if you don't manage that along the way, you won't be able to grow the right grapes. So ultimately, your business is a fine wine and not two buck chuck. So take that advice to the bank every single day. And that is your post show wrap up of the shrimp tank. I've been feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond.